everybody so today we're going to be doing a winter landscape so i want you to grab your canvas whatever size you like and um follow along with me um so for this project i'm using a 9 by 12 canvas um, pre-stretched of course and i am just covering it with gray um, just because sometimes these canvases are very toothy and I don't I want it to have a nice smooth flowing surface so cover it up with the gray plus it makes a good base coat make sure you do the edges as well um, and we will be using uh, for this project I'll be using light light blue paint also navy blue paint pink paint gray paint white paint black paint might use a little hint of red some dark greens and um light greens as well so there's a variety and i mean i don't you know i'm not using hugely expensive paint i'm i'm using little little bottles so also the brushes we need uh, a bigger brush a medium sized brush and a small brush um can't get any simpler than that water a palette and some paper towel and then we'll be off to the races so ha let's get painting so for this step we're going to make a bit of a dramatic sky with the pink uh it's a really light tutti fruity i think it's called pink um also peacock blue and a bit of gray and white all mixed together i want the lightest part to be in the center of the canvas here so i'm starting out with a little bit of gray again and on the corner and adding some blue and then adding some pink and i want some white wispy clouds in there so i'm making those if you guys want fluffy clouds you can do that too but for me i want just a soft quiet little um painting that's got like little wisps of, of white and pink and blue so i'm filling it about halfway down the canvas and um, just however you feel you want to do this just make sure you're putting a little bit of extra white in the center and then um, just going over it and making it a little bit smoother and we'll probably have to do another coat so we'll see you on the next part So you'll need a piece of chalk here or a white pencil of some sort. So we're making the bridge. So I want you to pause the video and see where I've made those dots. And then we're going to connect those dots. It's going to be an old wooden bridge. Um, and keeping perspective in mind, um, as you go toward the distance, it gets thinner. So, um, and then I apologize. I forgot to turn my camera on. I actually made some trees along the side of that bridge. Um, but now we're going to make it, be making that path going off into the distance and curving to the left a little bit. And we'll see you at the next step. So for this step, we're going to add the distant evergreen trees because I feel like I'm going to put a lot of evergreens. I may not even put in these trees that are over here, but they're there just in case the evergreens might just be in the distance. But we'll see. I, I'm just going to fly by the seat of my pants here. So I'm mixing up a very light mixture of the hunter green, a navy blue, um, a little bit of white, and a little bit of peacock blue as well as black. I just sort of mix them all together because I want the sky color to sort of be an undertone for the trees as well. So we're just gonna make tiny little trees and I'm using my liner brush here um, because I can make the really fine little details and because I'm a little bit of a sucker <laughs> for punishment. So I'm just making a few little um, background trees that are nice and light. As we go to the distance, everything is going to be lighter. And then I'm going to gradually add in a little bit of um, black and green to that mixture so that the trees um, in 
which is what I was doing there, which um, the trees, as they come closer toward us, they're going to have a darker value. So now I've added in um, a little bit of a darker mix. I have not changed my brush. I wish I would have, but I didn't. So, um, but now I'm just mixing up again, making a little bit of a darker value so that I can add a couple of trees on either side here. And you want to leave, do leave some area for the sky as well to shine through there. We, we kind of um, want that a little bit. So, so as you come forward with your trees, I want you to just keep adding a little bit of darker um, value to the mixture that you've already made here. Once we get to the complete foreground, it's going to be big, massive um, trees and we are going to put snow on all these trees too so just to give you a heads up there um, so I, again I'm adding another tree in the front here a little bit darker in value again um, and then after that I think what I will end up doing is turning off the video and then switching up my brush and we're going to add some snow to the trees that are we've got on the canvas now so we'll see you on the next portion. So for this step, I've decided that we're just going to go with um, pine trees because it's for simplicity's sake. And um, so I, I just I just decided I don't really want trees. We may put a few tree limbs in in a later, but for now, just pine trees. So what I'm doing right now is I've got my small filbert brush, and I'm taking it and dipping it in a tiny, tiny, tiny tiny little bit of white tinted with a little bit of gray and I'm just adding some snow to those trees there that we've just made. So um, not a whole lot at this point and I don't want it so white that it um, takes away from the focal point but um, just enough to, to indicate a little bit of snow on those distant trees. And then so I do that on both sides. And once you add that snow, the filbert brush is lovely for that um, because it just sort of has this smooth little shape to it that makes it look like tree boughs so, or pine boughs. So now you can see into the distance there that it's looking pretty cool because it looks like it's far, far, far in the distance. So now I am gonna be mixing green and black and dark blue um, and I'm going to be mixing a fairly dark mixture here because again the trees are getting closer to us and they're also getting bigger. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm adding um, all the trees on the right hand side and the left hand side and I decided like I said that I, I don't want to um, I don't want to use go with those other trees. I've also switched to my number four round brush and that's how I'm making the trees. And you guys don't worry about doing everything perfectly at this stage because really it's just a free, free form. Everything in nature is not the same, okay? Um, and so, you know, like I'm not really worried about where my brush is landing. I'm just sort of putting it in. Also, as you get to that bottom chalk mark, I want you to ease out um, on the paint because we're going to be adding snow to the top of that. So I want there not to be any hard lines there. So just as you get to that um, chalk line on either side, just sort of um, feather off the paint so that there's no um, hard edges on that. Um, I'm going to go to the other side now. I'm mixing up some more paint. Um, if you wanted to, you could just mix a whole pile of it, um, which I, you know, am really bad at. But anyway, um, we all have our, our, um, our traits. So as we get again on the other side, on the left hand side, as we get closer, the trees are going to get darker, they're going to get bigger. So again, and don't pay too much attention to, you know, um, 
what they look like at this stage because once we get the snow on those branches it's just not going to matter so bring them all forward uh, in the on the right and the left side um i'm going to do most of them on the left side now i am going to add a once i get over to the edge a little bit further i do add a tinier um, little one that's kind of he's just a baby i guess so um but just add as few or as many as you want. I usually make a little tick first as to where I'm going to go. And then I bring it all the way down. And there is no, you know, um, right or wrong way of doing this. Um, and they don't have to be straight. They can be crooked. They can be pretty much anything um, at this stage of the game. And and in further in further places as well. I may add a little bit more light to that center piece on the next step, but for now, this is good. Again, keep your edges nice and soft as you get toward that railing there. And, um, and then here's, I'm gonna add a little peak of a tree in behind um, on this side. Just a tiny little tree back there and he's just off and he it's not even that he's tiny he's just off in the distance and then i'm going to come in on the right hand side again and i am going to add another tree on this side and he is going right off of the canvas so he is a big boy and i'm just going to bring him all the way down and again i'm going to feather out at the edges just as we get to that chalk line because there will be a, a layer of snow on that so um we'll let this dry out i'll see you on the next step so for this stage we are going to be blocking in the bridge so i am using a mixture of burnt umber and black um, because it's going to be very dark on the underpainting side and we're just going to follow our um, top lines there to the edge of the bridge and i want you to leave there's another little um, swiggly line that swiggly line for lack of better words that we made on the side i want you to leave that alone i want the edges to be soft at the top and at the bottom so just make sure that you're taking that paint and smoothing it out so that there's no hard, hard edges there. Um, if there is, I mean, we can always cover it up later, but <clears throat> for now, if you can make it as soft as possible, then that'll work out great for us. So go right up to your chalk lines. If you haven't covered your chalk lines completely, it's all okay um, because the chalk wipes off really easily. Once we've blocked in those, the side pieces on our bridge, then I'm going to go from the bottom of the canvas or I'm going to make a little dark mark at the end of the bridge just where you would walk through I'm going to be doing that in a second and I'm just using some little flat brush that I own to do this step in nothing too serious for brushes whatever you're comfortable with so now I'm just adding that little bit of dark um, brown and burnt umber um, and black, sorry, burnt umber and black to the base of the the bridge there at the end of the bridge, and then we're going to be adding it along the to the toward us and getting larger and using a lighter color of burnt umber, and then we'll see you on the next step. Okay, so for this step, we're going to be adding a little bit of snow to those trees. So um, I've got my big filbert brush. Um, again, I love my filbert brushes because they lay the snow on so nicely. And I've just mixed a little bit of white and gray so that it's not completely white because we'll add the highlight after. And I'm just going to go and lay a little bit of snow on top of those trees that we've made. So just sporadically, um, just lay the, the snow on there and on each side. And then 
Um, once we've done that, we're going to put snow on the bridge as well, but that'll be in the next section. So just add the snow in. If you feel like you've added too much, just add in back in a little bit of green. Um, and uh, we're just making this super duper snowy. And I just, I love the feel of this, um, this painting so far. So I feel like it's going to be really cool when it's done. And we're flying by the seat of our pants. So what more could you want? So anyway, do this part. If you feel like you've added too much snow, just add in a little bit more green and then do the path as well. Add a little bit of that white, whitish gray along the path as well as along the side there. See you on the next step. So the, for this stage, what we're doing is we're going to be adding some snow now, okay? Um, so I've got a, a mixture of the light blue, the gray, and the white, and I've got my small filbert brush, and I'm just laying snow upon the top of the wood slat there. Um, and we want this to be a darker snow color because it's not our final color yet. So I'm going to lay the snow on top of both of the sides of the bridge and then I'm also going to lay it along the edges of the bottom of the bridge as well so again the same sort of mixture um, and you know you don't have to take forever to do this step it's just sort of blobbing it on there I, I'm not really concerned about the hard edges here um, because it's snow and it's going to be snow packed so now I'm going along the side with the same mixture and then I'm going to go up along the path as well and where the trees are in the distance just to show and we're and then again along the slats at the front there just to lighten those up a little bit like that and then what I'm going to do is take my um, my uh, four four round brush and I'm going to put it into some burnt umber and I'm just going to make some boards along the side along both sides of the bridge and I'm using burnt umber and black here and then we will be going in to highlight those after but for now I just want to get those put in and then after I've done that because I think I go over that a couple of times here and then after I've done that I take a, a mixture of the dark umber and the black and I'm going to make a shadow underneath the the snow on the side of the bridge once i've i've done where i'm going with the um with the slats try and keep your lines as straight as possible on those for sure so here i'm going to again i'm just reiterating the lines there and stop the video anytime you guys like um you know to to take your time with this um it's not doesn't have to be perfect nothing in my world is perfect so um you know like i said we just go from the seat of my pants and i just want to take the opportunity to thank you all for watching my vid videos and supporting my channel um i know there's not a lot of a lot of people but that's okay um as long as you get to paint that's my thing so here i'm going in and i am just gonna highlight or sorry um put some shadow underneath that snow there just to make it look like it's sitting on something so just a little bit of burnt umber and a tiny 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 little bit of black mixed in as well again i'm just on the on the um going underneath that snow there and then we're going to add a final highlight to that snow as well so we're getting there um it's taking a bit but we're getting there so hang in there and hopefully um hopefully we'll be we'll be finishing it up okay we'll see you in the next step So what I'm doing here is I've got a little bit of the burnt umber and a little bit of white. I'm mixing it together with the number four round. And I'm just going to make um, some of the boards highlight a little bit or stand out a little bit um, on the side. It is a rickety old bridge. It's made out of wood. So um, I'm not going to be too terribly perfect on this step because I want some of the boards to look a little bit crooked. So I'm going to do that on both sides. 
Um, again, I'm just taking my number four round brush and dipping it in a little bit of burnt umber and a little bit of white and also water. Water will help your paint um, flow a little bit smoother off your brush. And then what I'm going to do after that is I'm going straight into the white paint. I'm using gesso and I'm going to go along the tops of the... Um, of the bridge railing there so i'm gonna and i'm using my filbert brush for that so here i'm going along the top edge i'm using really thick gesso along the top edge of the snow and this is why i didn't want you to have those hard edges edges on the trees back there so we're going along in there and i'm going to do both sides of the railing there that side as well as the other Again, just at the top because we've already added that highlight to the bottom, or sorry, the um, shadow to the bottom, though we may go back in and do some more of that. Um, but for now, I, I, I think it's good. And then we're going to go along the sides as well and make some snow banks. Again, I'm using straight gesso here, make some snow banks against the side and uh, on both sides and then i'm also going to drag a little bit across the road as well and then i may add a little bit of burnt umber to that um, on the next step just to tone it down a little bit um, and we will be adding someone walking down that path so you guys are going to have to be brave i have to be brave to do it so you have to be brave to do it with me so once that's done we're going to um, do the final little touch-ups and highlights and then we're going to be complete so stick around for that step Okay, for this step, we're gonna add a little person walking his dog. So it's really easy to do people just draw a little round head. His body is gonna be about five of those little round heads um, from top to bottom. So, and then we're gonna draw a little dog. I decide to make my little person a boy and he's got a hat on um, and he's gonna have a blue, a navy blue jacket and some black ski pants and then the dog um, is so simple you just make a little sort of arc shape put two little ears and attach a tail and a couple of legs the feet will probably be covered in snow but we'll put these figures in um, to begin with the way they look it does not have to be perfect as what we're doing is we're fooling the eye and making the eye believe that there is actually, you know, someone out there walking their dog. So um, once you have finished that, don't be scared to do this. If it doesn't work out, you can always paint over top of it. Um, I'm terrified to do this kind of thing, but sometimes you have to be brave. So, and then we're going to do the final details on the next step. And then we're going to call this painting complete. Um, I do put a little bit of highlight on the figure, but I'm not leave. I'm not doing a whole lot to that guy. So we'll see you on the next step where we're going to finish everything up and bring it together. Okay, everybody. So we're just going to add on some final details here. I'm going to add a little highlight to his jacket um, there and also um, a little bit to his hat and his pants with a little bit, a tiny bit of white and the liner brush there. I'm going to add a little bit of snow just to place him and the puppy down there. And then I'm going to come in and I've mixed... Um, a little bit of blue and a little bit of pink together to make and a little bit of black to make a um a purpley color as well after i lay down the snow here and we're going to use that for the shading um or for the shadows because there there will be several shadows across the trail where the trees are the light is coming from the left so so here I'm going to do that. I'm going to mix that up and then I'm just going to go in and the shadows will be on the left hand side. Right now I'm just sort of adding some more highlights to the right with the with the pure um, white. 
and just adding a few adding a little snow drift there with the white and now we're going i'm going to mix up that shadow color and we're going to add shadows along the left hand side there just at the edge and just underneath the snow there and then also on the path a little bit where the little boy and the doggy are along the base of the bridge here just on the one side and now where the dog and the boy are and then also on the um on the path i i'm gonna lay across some white again and then i'm gonna do some shadows in there afterward So now I'm just laying in some of that shadow color and really important that we do this because it just adds a little extra element to everything. And then after we've done do we're done doing that, the only thing left really add a few little highlights here and there, but don't overdo it. I think I add a couple of highlights to the tree here. Uh, just the one that's closest to us. And then I think I add some on the other side too, but then I decide that I don't really want it on the other side and I back it off and put the <laughs> put the green back in because I'm not liking that too much. So we all make mistakes and then we all have to redo. So I really like how this turned out. The last thing to do then is to sign your name I love how this painting turned out. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and hopefully I'll be posting another one in another couple of weeks. Um, so in the meantime, have a great day and thanks so much for joining me. Bye.